At ease, Captain. I'm Admiral Revald. The Zabrak with the sunny disposition is my chief engineer, Aram. Welcome to the best place on Hoth. Shouldn't you be with the fleet? I should be on the front lines. You see where we are? Take a good look around you. This is the turning point of the war. I don't know how much you've seen of the Republic presence on this snowball, but this is what it's all about. This isn't just a battle for Hoth. We went out here, and we've got the whole war with the Empire in the bag. What makes this frozen wasteland worth fighting for? Spread across that ice field is what's left of one of our capital ships. She was carrying a top-secret weapon prototype. The Null Cannon. It can fry all the machinery on a starship without giving the crew so much as a hangnail. With that weapon in our hands, we can push the Empire back to the unknown regions. I thought there'd be a little more fighting here on the front. Now don't you worry, we got plenty of targets out there for you to shoot. We found the wreckage. Trouble is, pirates got there first, snatched up several pieces of our prototype, striking from a hidden base. We've deployed the Tals and the infantry. They're taking heavy losses out there, and we're not any closer to getting the Null Cannon. We can't allow these thieving scum to leave Hoth with a weapon that can take out any starship in the galaxy. One prototype coming up. Sensors detect life forms in the nearby wreckage. The pirates may be making a grab for pieces of the Null Cannon's primary power core. Keep an eye out for anything that will help us track the scum back to their lair. And contact me once all the fragments of the power core are secure. Go out there and bust some heads. Up and at him. Mechanized travel is for official business only.
Open Adam.
Of all the power stations I've seen on Hoth, this is certainly the best. At least you have your freedom. Go. Start over somewhere else. The Imperial Army will be here any second. You might want to take cover before they get here. I'm sure Major Vincent will be glad to hear it.
something at him. Our sensors didn't pick up any explosions. Did something go wrong? I chose to stay and fight the Imperial Army. You fought the Imperial Army? On your own? Are you serious? Havoc Squad may just put the rest of us out of a job, Captain. Thank you. You've probably just saved the lives of half the soldiers on Hoth. If everything here is secure, Major, I'm probably needed elsewhere. There are a lot of people on Hoth who could probably use your help. Listen. I know this is asking a lot, but we've lost contact with Lieutenant Kirill at Senth Outpost. I don't know what's happened there, but I suspect they're in trouble. conferred with every man in the platoon. Even if we sent everyone we have, we couldn't strike the Brotherhood effectively. Then you see my point. A combined operation might have a chance. You didn't say you had visitors. What are you doing here? We haven't seen a new face in weeks. How did you make it past the Hailstorm Raiders? Who is this, and why is he in chains? Captain Biron is here attempting to solve a mutual problem. A group of white mob pirates called the Hailstorm Brotherhood. They are savages, frankly cultists and marauders from some other ice planet that came to Hoth to test their limits. They hunt and murder those who cannot survive in the cold as they do. Republican Imperials alike. You came to talk, talk. My men are in the same situation as Lieutenant Kirill's, cut off with no resupply possible. If we don't join forces, they'll whittle us down until we leave our outposts in search of food. Then we die. How does that compare to being betrayed at some critical point by the enemy? Without help, our deaths are a certainty. Anything is better. What we need is for someone to bait a trap. If we fire a distress flare out on the ice, the Brotherhood will come running to attack. When that happens, my squad can surround them and wipe them out. All the bait would need to do is last until they arrive. If you stab me in the back, I'll shoot you in the face. I assure you, if I wanted to ambush the Republic, I've already had plenty of opportunity. Here's the distress flare. Fire once if all is as planned. Twice if the Imperial help isn't enough. Good luck out there. The Brotherhood knows that ice better than their own backsides.
You did it. I haven't seen that many dead Brotherhood since we first came to the planet. Agreed. It was efficacious. I'll assume that was the Imperial equivalent of enthusiasm, Captain. It was. My scouts are in pursuit of the fleeing Brotherhood now. We'll see what they find. Now is not the time to underestimate them. My thoughts exactly. Snow Raptor, this is Hatchling. Come in, Snow Raptor. Go ahead, Hatchling. We spotted the remainder of the enemy force entering the Ice Fortress. Coordinates attached. If the remainder of their force is grouping at the Ice Fortress, they've been badly hurt. It's time to finish them. The captain's right. We're not going to get this chance again. I'm not giving this group a centimeter of purchase. They're all going down. All right. Our priority target is Master Sav. A cult without its beloved leader is a beast without its head. Sav is a legend among the Brotherhood. We stranded him in the snow once, and left him for dead in Wampa country. He strangled one with a torn-torn femur, and skinned it with his own claws. He showed up in the Ice Fortress weeks later, quite alive. Getting rid of him sounds like a plan. We'll need you to spearhead the team, eliminating Master Sav. Others will secure the turrets and the perimeter. The Ice Fortress will be swarming with Brotherhood. We'll have the teams meet up again in the audience hall. Be warned, the hall is a defensible area. They'll move the big guns there once they know we're attacking. Nothing like artillery to get the blood pumping. Undoubtedly. Meet with Sergeants Cacho and Enlicker inside the fortress. Their men will reinforce you as you push to the audience hall. Go quickly. Let's not give them time to get back on their feet. Up and at them.
Sergeant Enlicker reporting in, sir. We've received little resistance so far. Sergeant Cacho reporting in, sir. You got here just in time for the fighting. These here are your unit. Straight on to the audience chamber. We'll fan out to intercept reinforcements. Carry on, sergeants. Right. Taking point. Sir, now that they're gone, do you seriously expect them to be allies? They've shown us no ill will so far. Of course, they conceal it until the time is right. I know Captain Biron from the old days when his unit took me prisoner. He likes the ambush, mind you. You think he'll make his move soon? He wants the fortress. Once they capture it, they're gonna take the turrets and turn them on us. The safe thing to do is, as soon as the Brotherhood is broken, take down Biron's men and grab him as a prisoner. It wouldn't take much. He's back at the base alone, and this lot will fold if we pull it on them surprise-like. If they were enemies, I'd have noticed by now. You think you know the mind of an Imperial better than I do? I spent three months in their cells. How about you? You're not running this show. I am. I know I can't countermand your orders, sir. But if they start blasting, we're gonna return fire. I'll go keep an eye on that sergeant. You take the boys here.
<laughs> Isn't this a surprise? The Republic and Imperials all bound together. What's wrong? Getting cold? Need to share body heat? Master Sav, I presume. None other. Have you come to put an end to the Brotherhood? Are you scared of our savage ways? Of course you are. There's no room in the galaxy for those who bow to neither Chancellor nor Emperor. Unless we make room. Through blood and struggle. That's the room, gentlemen. Take the turrets and secure the perimeter. All units, find an Imperial. Reinforce their positions with small arms. Move out. This is the time. Don't let them dig in. There's no need to escalate this. Escalate? They're gonna have a clear field of fire on us. Catch out. I've just received word from Captain Biron. He's got new orders. You'll find him quite ready for them, Imperial. He said to clear out the fortress once it's secured. It's too large for us to hold. Is something wrong? He thought he saw another pirate. False alarm. Oh, yeah. I guess things are all fight. Uh, all right. Everything's fine. I'm never hearing the end of this. Is there anything I can do? Uh, tell your captain that he's dead on about the fortress size. We'll be out of here as soon as all the rooms are searched. I heard about the situation over the comm. Master Sav is dead and half the Brotherhood tried to flee by jumping off the cliff. A well-executed plan. Of course, the irony is that with the Brotherhood gone, we'll be free to focus our tactics on one another. What would you suggest, Lieutenant? 24-hour truce as we return to our outposts? I could grant that when it involves my men. I cannot, of course, speak for others. What do you think? If you ever need a defect, you know who to call. A fine compliment. But after today's negotiations, I will likely be watched carefully. Yes, you risk much by coming here, Captain. If only more Imperials were like you. Be careful what you wish for, Lieutenant. Well, the day's not over yet, and already it brought about the end of the Hailstorm Brotherhood. There's a bigger war out there on the ice, and for once, the Imperials aren't the worst of it. Just point me to where I can help. I'm getting used to the cold. Admiral Revald commands the Republic fleet on Hoth. From the surface, no less. He's fighting tooth and nail with the White Maw leaders every day. If you can do for him what you did for us, the White Maw could be a thing of the past, and we would all sleep easier.
Good luck out there. Break some heads. Fuckin' on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that Lookin' up, open the park, pot, pot